need to prepare for a quiz. Uh, one of your things you need to do is to be able to search a database, and this is where we practice that. Don't use this box. Instead, click this box. Do make sure you have the 200 set. If you don't have that, quickly hit Save Settings, and then move to the Search Tool. When you use the Search Tool, I want to remind you to only type part of the word you're searching for, and only fill one box. It'll work with more, but I find that you mess up uh, more often if you don't. So our first search is just a search for the author first name. You did not add this. It just happens automatically. So type your name or type part of your name. So I'm going to do M-I-K. And I'm going to hit Save Settings. I want you to type yours. And this way you learn how many people in class have your first name. Uh, this is amazing. I am the only person that is M-I-K-E. Watch this though. If I change that to M-I-C, like Michael, and hit Save Settings, all of a sudden, I don't exist, but there are two Michaels. So real quickly, do that search for your first name. At this point, make sure that your neighbor was successful in that last part, because unfortunately, when we take this quiz, I end up with a few kids all the time that just don't get it. So let's make sure they all get it. So I just hit reset. I'm back to the search tab. And this time, let's search for claim to fame. Let's see if we can figure out how many ball players are involved. So just type the word ball. Don't type basketball, football, baseball. Just type ball and hit save settings. And let's do some analysis. I want you to scroll down and find out how many of these are really ball players. So there's famous, tallest, football. So that's uh, three. Ty Cobb was a baseball player. Four. Football player, five, six, seven, eight. Basketball player and coach, nine. Baseball player, ten. Uh-oh, this is where we find errors. Two people did Babe Ruth. So we need to tell Gage that he needs to replace his. So as we're doing this, we're looking for mistakes. Football coach. So this guy we would say would not be a player if we were... Um, thinking about that and then check out Pat Summon who is also a coach when you've got your count for this year show me on your hands what you and your neighbor came up with last time we searched the claim to fame this time let's search the birth month so type in just your month so I'm gonna do July uh, you can do your birth month so there's 12 possible months and when you save your settings go down and notice there are 12 people out of the 212 that were born in July, and then find the one that was born closest to your month. As you're looking through these, if you see the same birth date, it's a good chance that we accidentally put in the same people, and Trevor did. So make sure you fix those uh, if you find out that you did a duplicate. Once you've figured out who had the birthday closest to yours, you can move on. Well, if we check birthday, we also got to check death date. So type July, and let's see who passed away closest to your birthday. Save the settings. Uh, remember, there were 12 on my month for that. I can quickly see that there are 20 people that died in July. And then I've got to find the one that died closest to my birthday of July 19th. Could be uh, Mr. Cobb. Once again, you're looking for any duplicates. If we find duplicates, let us know. Uh, there's a couple Bruce Lees, so Troy needs to fix his. If you find an interesting person that died or was born close to your date, you can also add that to our classroom discussion for a chance to earn a free 3D print. At this point, it's time to take the practice quiz. Go up to the tab where Moodle is and duplicate it. Move that tab off the screen so that you have two. I've got to do some shenanigans because I record on a small screen. Keep one of your chunks as the database. Take the other one back to the Mod Tech breadcrumb. And I want you to find the fast historical quiz. When you take this quiz, you need to take it again and again till you get 100%. You're using the search strat strategy that we practiced yesterday and today. 
You are not allowed to Google for answers. You must be silent as you take the quiz. It is not a uh, partner activity. And attempt the quiz now. So it says, how many people were born in 1820? So then your job is to go to the search tab. Make sure you go search. And then it said born. So you got to go to the born box and type 1820. When you hit save settings, it'll give you answers. If you ever don't get any answers, so right now there's two, but I'm going to analyze it. If you ever don't get any answers, assume that you typed something wrong, or maybe you accidentally had two boxes full. Notice when you have two boxes full, it gives different answers sometimes. What are the odds they both had an A in there? So use that search tool to search for all your answers. Reset it after each one. When you've got 100%, make sure on your way to your module, you give me that Chuck Norris thumbs up. Oh!